Trinidad and Tobago, it's your boy Daniel, and we are out here in the streets of Port of Spain here today, and we come out to ask this simple question that we ask around the world, what you know? This episode is brought to you by WebSource. We just want to know what you know, if you know anything you know, you may know, I may not know, but we just want to know what you know. Let me go. Which computer is named after a fruit? Dell. A Dell. A Dell computer. <laughs> That is not correct. We're in 2019 right now. Which year would it have been 19 years ago? It was a simple one. Oh, sure. Come on, I'll please drink it once and you're a I'm not going to say that. I'm not Nineteen. Okay, so so come come back out, Dinga man, man, Dinga where you going, man? Yeah, 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 yeah. So 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 we're in 2019 right now. Which year would it have been 19 years ago? Um, uh, 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 19 years ago. I I I went to secondary school. Come 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 come, come, come man, Dingo man. <laughs> you think it's easy? 19 years ago, would that be 2000? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> so if you did. Oh, God! Come on. Oh, God! So, so, if, you, so if you didn't know. <laughs> Now you know! This episode is sponsored by the number one Skybox company within Trinidad and Tobago, WebSource. Spell the word WebSource for me. W-E-B-S-O-U-R-C-E. -E. Alright, that's it. But like you are a WebSource customer. Wow. WebSource, yeah. Well, WebSource. WebSource is number one. Oh, yeah, great. Say it with my WebSource is number one. WebSource is number one. You don't know. So if they didn't know, no, they know. No, no. What is the name of the largest and deepest ocean on Earth? Maracas. What? Oh my God. Why would you say that out loud? Maracas Waterfalls. Las Cuevas. Oh, way to go. Congratulations on messing this up for me. Congratulations. Uh, try again, darling. I believe in you. What is the name of the largest and deepest ocean on Earth? Um. Now you see? Now you see? Darling, this show is all about education through entertainment and it's all about laughter and learning. So even if you didn't answer all my questions correctly, the name of the largest and deepest ocean on earth is the Pacific Ocean. Alright? Yeah. So if you didn't know, now you know. Which, which computer is named after a fruit? Mango, pineapple, orange, grapefruit, papa. <laughs> you have me like one. Right, you have me a mess. Oh, come now, try your take now, man. I'm a, come now, man, man, dingo, man. Come now, man, man, dingo, man. Which computer is named after a fruit? I tell you before, I'm not a computer person. But, but try your thing. Which computer is named after a fruit? We have mango, we have papa, we have. Sugar apple, we have grapefruit, we have chenet, we have um, pumpkin tea. <laughs> oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. You have a Okay, so which fruit is, is, is an apple? Because oh, yeah. I mean, well, um, this, uh, this show is all about education through entertainment. Yeah, it's very good. Yes, yeah, so I, I want to make sure you go away learning something to, here today. The, the computer that is named after a fruit is an apple, an apple computer. I, I call Apple just now. Yeah. Where was the first capital of Trinidad and Tobago? <laughs> America. <laughs> That's nonsense. And you should know better. <laughs> America. <laughs> I just got sent, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> where was the first capital of Trinidad and Tobago? <laughs> America. South Africa, I don't know. <laughs> no, you can't take it, no more. Give me money, no money, you give me the food. 
Kids? This is one of the number one reasons why I continue to see kids. Let me say you're having problems with your skin, hair, or nails. Which type of doctor should you visit? A skin doctor is for your skin. All right. Right? For your hair, you go by the arm, people and them who does arm. Um, Alright, so let me say you're having problems with your skin, hair or nails. Which type of doctor should you go to? The skin doctor is for your skin. Right. But what's the name of the skin doctor? Ah. Good. Um, I forget. You see, this show is all about education through entertainment, so I want to make sure that you go out. We're learning something here today. The name of the doctor is a dermatologist. <laughs> Pronounce the word for me. Dermatologist. You're right, so you see, if you didn't know, now you know. What is the significance of Emancipation Day? <laughs> I know, man. Try a thing now, man. Try a thing now, man. <laughs> no, man. To celebrate your culture. Hmm? To celebrate your culture. Okay. Come here, go a little deeper than that for me. What is the significance of Emancipation? When is Emancipation? I really don't know. Come now, man. Come now, man. <laughs> what is it? What is emancipation? That's a good question. And when is emancipation? <laughs> I don't know. What does it commemorate? The, the, the abolition of slavery. Well, I didn't learn that in school and thing now. You didn't learn it in school. Well, you see, you didn't learn it in school, but you learn it on what you know. So if you didn't know, now you know. Emancipation is the 1st of August. So you learned something here today, and you know that it commemorates the abolition of slavery. You understand? Yeah. So you can tell your people from school and, and your family and think that you learned something today. So if you didn't know... No, I know. What is the name of the largest and deepest ocean in the, in the world? The largest... Indian Ocean, you know. I think it's the Indian Ocean. You think so? Yeah, I think so. You sure? You sure you think so? I think so. But you see, this show is all about laughter and learning. Right? So although we might laugh at you a little bit. I think I know the Indian Ocean because um, there was a time that there was um, a plane that went down to the Indian Ocean right. and they couldn't find it. Oh. After more than two weeks of questions and theories, investigators have concluded that Malaysia Airlines flight MH370 crashed in the southern corridor of the Indian Ocean. True. I think it was a real deep ocean. So you see, you teach me something here today, but I want to teach you something. Yeah. The largest and deepest ocean on Earth is the Pacific Ocean. I'm sorry. All right. Okay, okay great. So if you didn't know, Okay, no, no. No, okay, you know. Okay. What does T-R-I-N-I-D-A-D -I -I -D spell? T-R-I-N-I-D-A-D. Ta. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ta. Tarel. Ta. Ta. Tyrell, Tyree, Tyree. Can I remind you my glasses for me? Okay. Mm. Know how I feel. Why would you say that? Like, you put me in such an uncomfortable situation. Like, you know I'm not happy. You know I'm trying to see if it'll work out here, and I know that it's not. What does T R I N I D A D spell? Try a thing now, man. Tyrell, Ty Tyron, Tyrule, Tyreen. What does T R I N I D A D spell? Tyrone, Tyrell. It spells Trinidad. See, so if you didn't know, now you know it's first Trinidad. The school I went to, I didn't really learn to read, I got I went to work, so we didn't learn a lot of educational stuff. Mostly handicraft, and that's nice about man. it. At least today, you had the opportunity to learn something. So you know that a skin doctor is called a? Dermatologist. Dermatologist, and the largest and deepest ocean on earth is, is, is the? Pacific, Pacific Ocean. ocean. Alright, that's what we're talking about, man.
who invented the light bulb? Oh, you scratch your head with that one. I wonder if it's Mr. Watt, boy. Because you light is light to deal with what's right? I wonder if it's Mr. Watt. Look, 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 look at this. Somebody come look at this. Look at this. What, what, Mr. Watt? I'm not sure. I'm not they call sure. the man Thomas Edison. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Right. Send me back in. So, Tell Trinidad and Tobago where you learn today before you go. Although you end win, where you learn? I'm also Edison is the man who created the light bulb and the Pacific Ocean is the, the deepest ocean in the world. That is what we're talking about. So if you didn't know, you're now you know. Sure. Define the word jet lag for me. Jet lag? Nah, Try your thing now, man. Nah, Try your thing now, man. Think about it. Jet lag. <laughs> Define the word jet lag for me. Jet lag? Nah, Jet lag is extreme tiredness and other physical effects felt by a person after flying across time zones. Oh. So if you fly from Trinidad to London or you fly from Trinidad to Australia, you can experience jet lag, extreme tiredness because you fly across time zones. Remember, is that different time across there? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so if you didn't know, now you know. We're in 2019 right now. Mm. Which year would it have been 19 years ago? Two thousand nineteen, two thousand nine, two thousand nine, nineteen years ago. Yeah. Um, nineteen ninety nine, nineteen ninety, nineteen ten, nineteen eleven, nineteen twelve, nineteen thirteen, nineteen fourteen, nineteen fifteen, nineteen sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Um, nineteen years ago, ten. I'll be. 2000, now 19. Try to take that. 19 years ago. 19 years. So we are in the year 2019 right now. Which year would it have been 19 years ago? 2009, 1999. Mm? 1910, 1999. Come now, man. 1908. Come now, man. Oh, God, I want to wash my face again, man. Of course, I tell me. Which year would it have been 19 years ago? 1913, 1914, 1914, 1914, 1914, 1914, 1914, 1914, 1914, 1914, 1914, 1914, 1914, 1914, 1914, 1914, 1914, 1914, 1914, 1914, 1914, 1914, 1914, 1914, 1914, 1914, 1914, 1914, 1914, 1914, 
Nils, Nils, Nils. Nils on my finger? It is the same Nils as on my toe. But that's how I know since I was small. Get out of my goddamn classroom before I break my foot off in your Who is this person right here? Who is that white cartel? Or? Who is that way? I don't know. Try to think it's not cattle. Who's this person right here? Marshall. <laughs> Try again. Bungie. <laughs> <laughs> Try again. Oh boy, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Try to think, try to think. Who is this person right here? Come, 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 come. I don't know, I don't know. No. He wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. Which household item is SpongeBob named after? SpongeBob, oh my. SpongeBob. Wow. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. Have I ever watched SpongeBob? Um, I'm not sure. What? I, give me the question again. Which household item is SpongeBob named after? Oh gosh, this is so easy. Oh my god. Sp but Sponge! You sure? Yes. Sponge. SpongeBob, SpongeBob, right, SpongeBob! Alright, alright, alright. All right. Oh my god. Damn! You have any kids? Yes. Can you spell the word boop for me? What? Can you spell the word boop for me? Bloop. Boop. Bloop. Boop. Bloop. Well, I will say barely up. Bloop. Yeah, well, here. Bloop this baby for me. Bloop this baby here for me. Like and just. Yeah, baby. Bloop. <laughs> you can tell I. <laughs> I want to go home. I don't want to. I, I want to go home. Look yes. out, Simon and Gone. Oh, Daddy said, but don't leave me alone. Right. What you know, you are the Gondi champion. Right. Don't in us and the Grandi. All, All the right. girls, I'm going to walk at the Bella Wine. What up with the girls at the Bella Wine and come? Yes, I daddy said, but I'm going to the maximum. Yes, me are the king of the down in the town. Right. It's just North and South, me where right. I'm. What you know, where you come from. Hey. I want you to know, call my name Jonathan. Me Ram dance all till 1971. It's just North and South, me where I'm. Hey. What you know is they want Jonathan. Hey. Fire! Fire! How many sides does a dice have? Four sides. Wrong, 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 wrong. Four sides. Wrong, 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 wrong. You're wrong. Can you spell the word squat for me? Like I we squat in the gym. Can you spell the word squat for me? No, I've given you two options. Is that they spell the word squat or you actually do a squat for me? So it's up to you. I want five squats. Proper form. That's one. That's two. I want five. That's three. Come on, come on, come on. That's four. Come on, come on. Give me five. Give me five. Five more. Five more. Five more. Five more. Five. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You can do it. Four. Three more. Three more. Three more. Three. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Two more. Two more. Two more. You got this. You got this. So can I spell squat for my boy? Squat. Yeah. S C. O U R. This show is all about education through entertainment. So I want to make sure you learn something here today. It's S Q U A T. S Q U A T. Now you have any children? Can you burp a baby? Can you spell the word burp for me? Burp. B U R P. Here yeah, what? Burp this baby for me. Let me see you burp this baby here for me. Burp it for me. Burp the baby for me. Yeah, baby, you burp the baby. I I. <laughs> Try to take now. Try to take. Oh, let me tell him now. The man, he good, he good. Burp, burp. I give you the baby. Burp the baby. Uh, <laughs> Guys, where you going, baby? I don't know. Try to baby baby for my baby baby now, man. Go choke the baby baby. Go dead in the hole of one. Baby baby for me. I don't know how to boop no baby. Try to check now, man. Darling, darling, darling. Come on, show me how to baby baby now. Come on, show me how to baby baby. This.
This whole show is about education through entertainment. Document everything what you're doing here right now. Turn the baby right. on the stomach, right. hold it upright, and rub the back right. until it's right. done. So take the baby from man, boob the baby. Take your time with the baby, yeah? Right. Boob, boob the baby. That is what we're talking about, man. You're ready for father and cameraman, hold that. <laughs> on your ID card, there's something called DOB. What does DOB stand for? On my ID card? Yeah. DOB. I, I I want to believe well in your ID card if it's D O B. Huh. Uh, I I I won't stay long to play wrong, but uh, I will try. I know it is not. Right now, my head kind of quacks. That's drugs. I know drugs when I see. Can you spell the word boop for me? B U P. All I can say is fix it, Jesus. Fix it. You can't spell it, so try to burp a baby for me. Burp this baby for me. I have no churn yet. Right? But, but, our sister is now. Right. So, detail it for me. Show me how are you going to burp this baby? Look, 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 look at this. Somebody come look at this. Come on, Mr. Stardy, though, she'll tell you. Okay. Uh, come on, man, let me get your sister on the phone now. <laughs> on the national idea of Trinidad and Tobago, there's, there's something on it called the DOB. What is your DOB? What does DOB stand for? DOB, right? Try your thing now, man. Try your thing now, man. Oh, God, man, I believe you have it, man. Try your thing now, man. Oh, God, right now. Pass out, pass out. No, 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 no. Try your thing. But, brother, it's better to try and fail than to not try at all. Try your thing. What does DOB stand for? No, no, no. Come now, man. Come now, man. What does P E N C I L spell? P E N C P L C P L P E N C I L Ah, give me back that again now. P E N C I L Ya Pepsi no. Which spell? Eh? What does it spell? P E N C I S L. P E N C I L. C E I L. P E N C I L. Come on! P-E-N-C-I-L P-E-N-C-I-L How it's spelled? Yeah! Oh, you want them pronunciation? <laughs> oh, you want them pronunciation? Wait a minute! Wait... Wait a minute! Yeah! P-E-N-C-I-L right. right! You want that... Uh, you want that pronunciation? Yeah! How... Wait... First of all, you're not gonna speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. Yeah, yeah, like, oh, Pencil! Ah, boy, I'm finally high five, man! Whoa! Woo. Yeah, Pencil! Yeah. We take a long while to get out of there. I don't want to live on this planet anymore. Trinidad and Tobago, we're out to with Nicole here today. I have a nice name in it. You have a beautiful name. If I had to describe your name in one word, I would say that it is super califragilistic, XP, Alidocious. So you have a beautiful name. Oh, Lord, it's Hermosa. This is the first question here. Nothing too difficult. What does P R E C I O U S spell? Say it over. What does P R E C I O U S spell? Precious. On your ID, there's something called the D O B. What does that stand for? Of Can you name three natural disasters for me? Hurricane, flooding, earthquake. How many sides does a dice have? 
I die six. Can you spell the word Blanche Shears for me? B L A N C H I S S E U S E. Give my high five. That's what we talk. Where are you going and do with that thousand dollars? I will get my son. I come right there. That's what we talk. Yeah. Man. Come and tell me where you go and do with that thousand dollars and I get that thousand dollars. Come now, man. Come now, man. Come now, man. Tell Trinidad and Tobago where you're going to do with that one thousand dollars when you have it. I go and save it. Trinidad and Tobago, with your boy Daniel, and we are out here in the streets of Port of Spain here today, and we come out to ask this simple question that we ask around Trinidad and Tobago, what you know? This episode is brought to you by Awesome Copyright Limited. So singers, songwriters, musicians, become a member today. We just want to know what you know. If you know anything you know, you may know, I mean, I know, but we just want to know what you know. Let we go. How many letters are there in the alphabet? Twenty-six or twenty-eight? Oh, we need more. Twenty-seven. Turn around. Turn around. Oh, good. I'm you back. I'm you back. All we need to carry back for next year. Twenty-six. Twenty-eight. Twenty-seven. 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 Can you spell the word definitely for me? Definitely. Yeah. D E F E R N A T I L Y. Or should drop that I and let's put L Y. <laughs> How heavy is the human brain? Um. We learn this in PE, I'm bio. We learn this in PE, I'm bio. Alright, so you know it. It's approximately right. three to four All right. kilograms. Yeah. Come, come, come again, come again, three to four. Pounds. Yes, sir. What's your final answer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the human brain is actually approximately three prongs. Can you use the word igloo in a sentence for me? Igloo? Yeah. No, it is impossible. Bruh. What did you say? Igloo. No. Cannot be used in a word unless you're pronouncing that itself. Igloo. Oh. Uh, it, ca it cannot be used. No. Use the, use the word igloo in a sentence for me. There is no way to start because it's a name, it's not a sentence. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> there is no way to start because it's a name, it's not a sentence. Use the word igloo in a sentence for me. Igloos are in Antarctica. <laughs> Beautiful. But this show is all about education through entertainment, so I want to make sure you yeah. learn something here today. It's actually D E F I N I T E L Y. Sure, yeah, boy. Yeah, man. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I stopped writing my little short poetry and all yeah, them things, so you lost that. Touch. Wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. Hold on. There's no poetry and thing? Listen, no, I'm not going to ask you to recite one in but I just want to tell you that this video is brought to you by Awesome Copyright. So in case you're looking to copyright your works, you can check out Awesome Copyright. So all musicians, artists, songwriters, singers, check out check out Awesome Copyright. That is one thing with Trinidad now, I'm really impressed. They're opening all kind of ways for young people to really push forward. Well, I'm not so young, but still, nonetheless, it didn't have no age limit. If the color orange is spelled O R A N G E, how do you spell the fruit orange? The same way. I'll try that thing. Spell, spell the fruit orange for me. The same way you spell it. Alright, spell it for me. Me, you no. Know? Oh God, come on, man. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So if the color orange is spelled O R A N G E, how do you spell the fruit orange? Spell the fruit orange for me. R E N G. Oh, same way. O R E N G. The same way. Spell it. Yeah. O R E N G. You spell it the same way. Spell it one more time for me. O R E N G. One more time, real slow. O R E N G. Jesus is love. Hey, what's the difference between an artist and an artist? Well, an artist uh -huh. does do drawings, right. paintings, right. arts and craft like that, right. and an artist right. 
will be someone who like sings and yeah, uh, entertain and uh, performs music, music. You know your thing, man. You see, he know he thing, and that's why this episode is brought to you by Awesome Copyright. So singers, songwriters, musicians, become a member today. Tell Trinidad and Tobago what to know. Educate Trinidad and Tobago on something right now, man. Um, okay. So, if you go the whole day without bathing, more than likely you will smell sink. What? If you go the whole day without bathing, more than likely you will smell sink. No, no, don't do it. No, 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 Charlie, don't do that. Name a part of your body that begins with the letter C. C. Yeah. C, boy, oh, whoosh. Oh, whoosh. Scratch your head with it. Yeah, yeah, you're making me scratch your head. I don't have. <laughs> so let us see. Um, collarbone. What is the difference between an artist and an artiste? An artist paints right. and an artist sings. Ah, boy, you know your thing, you know your thing. And that's why this episode is brought to you by Awesome Copyright. So we call it on all singers, songwriters, and musicians to become a member today. A person born in 2000, how old would they be today? Nah, no, I can't check that one. <laughs> I can't check so far. Try a thing. Pen and thing. You gotta get pen. Cameraman, you have a pen? You have a pen, my chance? You don't have a pen? No, I, I can't check that so far. How old would a person be if they were born in 2000? The old last time? Huh? The old last time? <laughs> A person born in 2000, how old would they be today? 2000? Eh? 2000. Yeah, come now. 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 Come France, Germany, and Jamaica. That's nonsense. And you should know better. Open the door. Bus driver, answer a simple question here for me. Spell the word top for me. T-O-P. Right, say the word top for me two times, real fast. Top, top. Right, say the word for three, three times. Top, top, top. Four top. times, real fast. Top, 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 top. Where does the water green light? Stop. I'm gone. What do you call a person from the Caribbean? <laughs> well, you call a person from the Caribbean is somebody you have to know. And if I ain't know nobody, I had a, and I just see somebody from the Caribbean, I just say, well, you from the Caribbean? Okay. <laughs> if the color orange is spelled O-R-A-N-G-E, mm. how do you spell the fruit orange? Spell orange for me, the fruit. The fruit orange? We say we, the color orange is spelled O-R-A-N-G-E. Oh, right. And you and you foot are you foot orange? Yeah. You might uh, if I pass I, I, I can't get next person. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Oh, uh, the, the color, the color is just O R A N G. What? Oh God! 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 <laughs> oh, right. Ah, ah, ah. Right. E, e. Right. And. And. Eh. Na na na. I will get a new radio voice.
Get him, get him. All right, so we inside about DJ Versatile whole team. All right, so we inside about DJ Versatile whole team. Reprim my wife Daniel Loveless, I want to know what you know. You tell me you like maths, right? So, like, what's your favorite part of maths? You like vision, you like addition. What do you like to do in maths? Addition. You like to do addition, so I can actually difficult addition, some? Yeah. Are you sure? All right. What is 500 plus 250? Um, Try your thing, you have it. Seven hundred and fifty. Give me a high five. Uh, that's what we talking about. Name a part of your body, beginning with the letter A. Your anus. <laughs> like that. Yeah, man. Cool. <laughs> now, I just wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Lord. All right. Cool. Um. Okay. Next question. Um. All right, cool. Next question. Um, yeah. Which part of your body, no matter how many times you wash it, it still smell? The real parts. It's your toes, it's tie your, it's your balls, it's tie. No matter how much time you wash up, your body on the hole. Oh, it, 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 your body on the hole. I mean, time you wash your balls, I mean. <laughs> Come back and smell. <laughs> I mean, if, if your balls still smell, it's just me. It's just your, your balls, yeah, sir. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Can you name a part of your body that begins with the letter A? I'll be cussing if I say that life on here, boy. Anal? Anal? I like that one. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean, okay. Anal, 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 what are you trying to do to me? Come on, man. If the color orange is spelled O R A N G E, how do you spell the fruit orange? It's just as they say. Spell it for me. Spell, it, spell the word orange for me. Can't do that. Can't do that. Boy, if you don't. Get but song a line in your favorite soca song for me. Uh, I, don't even, well, I don't really say it's a different book. So I song, but I just hear it. All right. So the only thing I can remember of her right. is um, I stayed with the Indian no man. I stayed with the Indian no man. Yeah, yeah. I not leaving here at all. Yeah, yeah. That is the Indian no man. I name the Indian no man. Chanti glad this song and like it could be an artist, you know. Chanti glad listen. In case you want to be an artist, don't forget that this episode is brought to you by Awesome Copyright. Right. So singers, songwriters, musicians like yourself, yes. become a member today. Amen. You understand? Yes. You don't know Chanti Gladys? Yeah. Look your stick. Right. It was such a pleasure meeting you. You ain't, you, you ain't got my money, but I, I but you learn something. Let me get a sweet drink for Tanti Gladys. Let me get a sweet drink for Tanti Gladys. I'm going, I'm going and buy this sweet drink. Cameraman, <laughs> cameraman, let me go and get this sweet drink. Can you name any two days beginning with the letter T? T. T. I got any money? <laughs> <laughs> Name any two days beginning with the letter T. Tuesday. Right, and? Tuesday. And name another day beginning with the letter T. The elephant went up in the sky and here gave me thousand dollars. Are you a male or female? Well, I'm a... Female. Right, and so so if you're a female, then what is your gender? <laughs> a few moments later. I can't remember. <laughs> so, young man, where does call? A deer with no eye. Well, the word deer have no eye in it. You sure? Yeah, sure, you sure so that you find an answer? That you find an answer. Idea with no eye. Yeah. No is the answer? What? No idea. <laughs> go on, go on. <laughs> what was Donald Trump's name in nineteen ninety? 
Capaldeo. I going home, I going home, that is it. If a person has DR before their name, what does this indicate? That indicates that they're a doctor. Beautiful. So, although you're walking away, you ain't going away with my money, tell Trinidad and Tobago what you learned today. The population of Trinidad and Tobago is 1.3 something something million people. Mm -hmm. Well, Dylan. And the egg white is called the albumin. That's what we're talking about. Give me a high five, man. You're yeah. done, no? Loving the house, man. How old are you? 31. Right, so how old were you five years ago? 25. 21. 21. Five years ago, 21. Where is it? Where is the question? Where is the question again, brother? I'm 31 now. How old I was five years ago? 25. Yeah. The Twin Towers in Port of Spain, who is the structure named after? No one. The structure. I don't think it have anyone named Twin Towers. <laughs> I don't know that one. You see, this show is all about education through entertainment. So, although I can't give him my money, I still want to ensure that you walk away from him learning something. It's the structure is named after Dr. Eric Williams. How you get twin towers from Eric Williams? That is the what I what I want to know. <laughs> yeah, well, it's Dr. Eric Williams. It's called the Dr. Eric Williams Financial Complex. Okay. Learn something today. Yeah. Tell Trinidad and Tobago where you learned today. I learned that the Twin Towers were named after Dr. Eric Williams. That's what we're talking about. You smart. Hey, up. Play a little tune for me. Play a little tune for me. Run a little tune for me, man. later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. I hear this school train using our word here, Zessa. Uh, can you tell me what is a Zessa? I'm trying to find out what is a Zessa. I say Zessa. <laughs> Colgate Total, number one recommended by dental professionals. Spell the word marijuana for me. M A R I U A N A. So you just forget the J. You just you just leave the J totally out the entire word. He just spell over the whole damn word. Who is this person right here? That is um That is the The National Security Minister. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. No. No, no, no. The National Security Minister. Okay, okay, okay. And what's his name? Oh, wow. <laughs> Try acting. Um, Gary Griffith. No! Hell no! No! Gary Griffith? Well, it looked like Gary Griffith to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, okay, so then if that is Gary Griffith, then who is this person right here then? Oh, that's Gary Griffith. Oh, oh okay, okay. So if this is Gary Griffith, then then who is uh, this person right here then? Because oh. you know, tell me. That, that, well, I can't remember his name, but that is the Minister of National Security. Okay. Oh, and oh, 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 oh. Then who is this person right here? Stuart, Stuart Young. And who is Stuart Young? The Minister of National Security. But, but then, so then who is this person here then? All the time, yeah, boy. I see a man completely out of country. Completely out of control, Mr. Speaker. That is what I see. It's Farisal Wari, boy. Oh, Farisal Wari. Yeah, that's the Attorney General of the country, man. Oh, well. Okay. So, this is the Attorney General here, Farisal Wari. This is Stuart Young, that's the Minister of National Security. And the other guy I show you, this 
is Mr. Gary, Gary Griffith. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. So you learn something here. How many want to ask the big man a question? The man said that he run the world and he run the nation. You ready for my question, boy? Let me tell you something, boy. Have you ever known about the world called love? Break it up for me and let me tell you from up above. Smell the thing with the world called love. Break it down if you don't know what is love. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I know that one. <laughs> Listen to me now, boy. Right. This is the L stand for is a real long love. The O is a thing where you call it over love. Right. The V is the thing where you call vigorous love. Right. The E is for thing is for everlasting love. Right. Big man, give me my thousand. Let me go back in a Jamaica and come down on April. Let me do me thing now. What is fifty percent of fourteen? That's uh five. Fifteen percent of um what? Would you say 5% of 14 is 5, right? 50% of 14, that's 5. 50% um, of 14 is 5. 14 divided by 5, you have to put a 0 for 140, then you divide it straight down the middle. It goes into it uh, 3 times minus 1, that's 3.2.5, and then you add it together, but you subtract the uh, bonus point, and that gives you 5. That's, that equals 2.5 plus 2.5 in division, and that's 5. It's the square root of 14, the division way, 50%, instead of uh, divided by. I've been all over the world, um, to Canada, London, Guyana, and I have, I have never met someone like you. Thank you. What, it, what does that mean? Is that, what does that mean? It means that you're a really special guy. But this show is all about education through entertainment, you know. 50% of 14 is 7. 50% of 14 is not 7. That's half of 7. The 14 way. 14 divided by 2. The 50% way cannot be uh, 7 because it would have to be 700, which is 100%, to take away 50%. And then that would be 450, which rounds up to 5 the um, smaller number way. Instead of 700, you put it to 70, and then you put it to 7, and then that's uh, two decimal points to the left. So it would not actually be um, 450. It would be 4.5 to the first decimal point because you asked for um, 7, which is a singular number. So once it's 4.5, and um, you have 4.50, you round that up to 5, and that would be 50% of 7. And that and fifty percent of fourteen instead of it being seven. <laughs> so, so you cannot get fifty. You cannot get fifty percent of a singular number. It would go down the calculator forever. So you have to make it the first whole number. If it's fourteen, that equals one forty. What is fifty percent of fourteen? You can get a percent That's, uh, five, and that would equal four point five zero. And then you 15 would have to of, um, round that uh, up to 5. You break tears to my eyes, boy. Oh, gosh. 15 is 5, Thank right? 50% so, of No, but this show is all about five. education through entertainment. 50% um, of 14 50 is 7. 50% of 7. 14 is 5. Well, it depends on which 14 you divided by 5, you, you have to put a 0 for 140, then you divide it straight down the middle. If you get a math, it goes into it 3 times minus 1, that's questions, and you only get and then seven you of them together, right, but you, you don't get the uh, 50 bonus percent, point, and that gives you five. That's like 25 percent. That's <laughs> eight equals 2.5 for seven 2 of them right, and you get a 50 percent. That's five. It's the square I want to teach you something here today. I, no, the division way. Like, I don't even see in my so eyes here. Uh, no, like, I'm I, I crying right now. I'm crying. I've been this show is all about world. education uh, through entertainment. Canada. I want to teach you something here today. I mean, it's all about Guyana. laughter and learning. So although we might laugh uh, yeah. at you a little bit, 50% of 14 like is 7. Thank you. 50 what does that mean? of 14 so what does that mean? be 7. Still. It means that you're a really special guy. But you this show is all about education through entertainment, thing. you know. 50% um, of 14 is 7. 14 50% of 14 is not 7. That's half, half of 7. That's still not 50%. It's 14 is just say 14 half of, divided half of 14 by 2. 7. The 50% way percent cannot be uh, 7 what because about it would have to be 700, which is 100%. But to take away 50%. That would be a split in half. And that would be 450, which rounds up to 5. Separated. The smaller number way, instead of 700, you put it to 7. 
one, and then you put it to seven, and then that's uh, two decimal points to the left. So it would not actually so, be. So I, 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 I need I need to understand this. So so fifty percent and, and a half is not the same thing. Five to the first no, that's just dividing fourteen for coconuts into um, dip two seven, different piles. Which is a singular if you want number. to actually get fifty so percent of a coconut, a coconut and, um, is four point five zero. You round flesh. that up to five, and the flesh and that would be uh, has liquid, seven. like a coconut and nut. And so if you wanted to make fifty percent of a coconut, you'd have to cut it in half so you could get the outside and the inside. <laughs> Instead of just setting it differently from another so, coconut. So if there's 14, so, the only way to get 50%, 50 you cannot get 50% is to actually get of a singular um, number. It would go down the calculator forever. So you have to otherwise, make it the first you would end up getting 14, um, 14 something split in half. And that's something that's, that's over 100, that's a question then you can called, get a percent out of. What is 14 and split in half? 4.50. And then you would have to so, um, round that up. To five. You asked me the square you root tears of to my eyes, boy. Oh five, gosh! Um, Thank you. Do the round up. So no, but this show is all about education through entertainment. Fifty percent of fourteen is seven. This is the next question. Well, a really simple question. Because if you what say, is um, the thirteenth month of the year? Is there a thirteenth month of the year? Math, uh, yeah, that's, that's only when you group have fourteen together all questions the leap years and you that only have get um, the zodiac seven of them right. The you don't get and that month would be called Wagatari. That's like twenty-five percent. Wagatari. <laughs> Wagatari. W a g a t a r y. Seven of them right um, and get a fifty percent. A r y. Wagatari. I want to teach you something here today. I, no. Like -A -A I don't even see my eyes here. No, like I, I crying right now. I crying. This show is all about education through entertainment. I want to teach you something here today. I mean, it's all about laughter and learning. So although we might laugh at you a little bit, fifty percent of fourteen is seven. Twenty-nine, and then eventually you get thirty-one of those bonus days, and they equal a month called Wagatori. You would still have to say that one thing if you got. You learn something every day, yeah, boy. You really learn something at, uh, every day. This is the next question here. Um, very simple question. Really easy question. Which month comes between September and November? That would be October. Right. Yes. And this is the next question. The fourth question here. A really simple question. What is the official currency of the United Kingdom? The United Kingdom would would be the fourth pence. So I would be the fourth pence. I need to understand this. So so fifty percent and and a half is not the same thing. It's actually in a small bill form. No, that's just dividing fourteen coconuts into two different piles. That you want to actually get fifty percent of a coconut. That would be kind of like a when you have the Dungeons and Dragons and they have one made after it. Uh, it has liquid. liquid. This way like it would be coconut the fourth note. pence out the so king. If you wanted the fourth, to make 50% of a coconut, um, to, you have to, to cut it in Hey, my friend. Hey, excuse me. Can I have two minutes every time, Instead please? It it differently from I'm doing a YouTube video so here, and I have a question for this guy, and I'm trying to explain to something to him. Can you assist him? All right, so you don't mind us recording you, right? For my YouTube channel, please step a little bit with me here. So what's your name? Marina. You're understanding my accent, right? This is the question here. What is 50% of 14? Five. I'm I'm telling him that fifty percent of fourteen so is seven. Is that correct? Square root yeah. of fourteen. That's so five. is fifty percent of fourteen um, seven? No. What is Why? fourteen divided it's, uh, by two? Four point five. Fourteen split. Be, in I, like no, like like I need you to help me to understand the logic. You want to come a little closer? Right, because we're trying to figure it out. What is fifty percent of fourteen? Seven. And what is fifty percent of fourteen? I say five. So fifty percent of fourteen is not seven. No. Why? Um, 14 can This is the be, next question. Um, a really simple a question. Because it would have to what hit is the 13th month of the year? Is there a 13th month of the year? So you would yeah, add a zero when and you then group it would be together all the leap years that are And then once you have 140 and you divided by 50, 50 and you get 4. And that month would be called Wagatari. And that rounds up in Wagatari to 5. Wagatari. W A G A T. Yeah, I'm a part of Mensa. Wagatari. That was impressive. So what is 50% of 14? Five? I mean, you get the, the, the leap year. <laughs> I mean, if you didn't know. That, uh, if you, this, um, is not if you ask her to, to use her phone, um, if you After do so many years, 14 you divided by 2, that you get, it might say um, 7. If you do 14 being 29, um, and then you divided by 50%, it'll show of those five. bonus uh, days. And they All right, darling. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. Check out the show on YouTube. It's what you know on YouTube. And I guess, what's 50% of 14? Five, I guess. I mean, something every day, every day. No, you know. Doing something it, uh, every day. This is the next question here. Um, very simple question. Really easy question. Which month comes?